us sit and listen to <clears throat> our introit from the choir as we prepare for our worship this Palm Sunday. God this morning. We come to prepare for the holiest of weeks. We will, we will journey, journey through, through praise with our with joy on our lips. We will travel through betrayal and death, cradling, cradling hope deep in our hearts. Heart. Jesus leads us through this week, and we will follow, for he is the life we long for. He is the word who sustains us. We weigh palm branches in anticipation. We lay our love before him to cushion his walk. Setting aside all power, glory, and might, he comes, modeling humility and obedience for all of us. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one who brings us 
the, the kingdom, kingdom of, of God. God. Amen. Amen. As we continue through our worship this morning, let us join together as we sing our hip hymn of preparation, MHD 246, Earth Rejoice, Our Lord is King. MHD 246. <laughs> before God this morning and recognizing who God is and who we are and all that God has done for us. It is time for us to come before God and confess our sins that we may be found worthy to be in God's presence and we may continue as we worship God on this Palm Sunday. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the gift of the Holy Spirit. The proof of God's amazing love is this. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Because we have faith in him, we dare to approach God in confidence. Let us come before God and confess our sins. Gracious God, we come before you this morning and we recognize all that you have done for us. You have carried us through this week. You woke us this morning. You have blessed us with so many things that we take for granted. And yet, in spite of your love for us and all that you have done for us, we have sinned against you, we have sinned against others, and we have sinned against ourselves. We have not trusted you, God. We have not loved you. We have not loved others who are also made in your image. Let us come before God right now and confess our personal sins that we have committed this week and this day. Let us pray. Gracious God, we ask that you forgive us for not loving those around us, for being quick to judge and slow to forgive. 
for not reaching out to those in need, for being selfish and greedy, for worrying and not trusting you. Gracious God, you have given us more than enough, and yet we do not always trust you, we do not always reach out to you, and we focus so much on ourselves. As we continue, let us ask for forgiveness of the sins committed by our community and by our country, by our country. When we have not, we have been blessed with so much and yet there are so many people still suffering. There are people without homes, there are people without food, there are people who live in fear of their lives daily and yet there is more than enough in this world to take care of everybody. There is more than enough for people to feel peace. Let us pray for the sins committed by our communities. Let us pray. Gracious God, we come before you this morning and we ask for your forgiveness. We have allowed ourselves to be part of organizations, community, and nations that have not reached out to others, that have not let people know your peace, your joy, and your love. We have seen people in need and we have walked by. We have seen people in need and we have been afraid to reach out. We have thought about our, ourselves before others and we have been afraid of losing what we have, forgetting that everything comes from you and there is more than abundance in all that you have. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart and soul and mind and strength. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us amend what we are, and direct what we shall be, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us. Christ rose for us. Christ reigns in power for us. Christ prays for us. Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old life has gone. A new life has begun. Believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are all forgiven. Thanks be to God. Amen. Having come before God and cleansed ourselves of our mistakes, it is now time for us to come and worship and adore God with all that we have. And we ask Calvary Voices to come and lead us in this time of praise and adoration. So shall we please be on our feet? Open your mouth and worship the Lord. Open your mouth and magnify his holy name for his goodness and his mercies. Just reflect on the goodness of the Lord, his faithfulness, his kindness. Last year, Palm Sunday, now obiti asi our kind of home. And now we knew what else would you do? I don't be not to more young who for be not she will bumble for be not born home by open your mouth and bless the Lord. Let us glorify His holy name. If it wasn't the Lord who was on our side, where would we have been? And at the young friend, I mean, a year, young man, a young funny Cassie, young man, young funny Pedro, man, young funny Pedro, man, open your mouth and worship your maker. Abba Father, about to your sovereign to this morning. Everybody say, Oh, everybody, I'm our 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 Jesus, my Savior, my Savior, our soon coming, kid. 
You are highly lifted up this morning. Uh, our hallelujah belongs to you. All the glory belongs to you. All the honor belongs to you. Oh, Jesus, we lift up our hearts and our voices to you. Uh, when you be a woman, you know us, you. When you want to fire, show anyone young. Then, 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 they are sitting you are here. You are a son, then, 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 then,
Father, we just want to bless you. Rata da 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 da, ibidi da da da. Ema si da da da, si ya baba. You are highly lifted up. Our sovereign one, you are highly lifted up. Our powerful, you are highly lifted up. Our knowing God, you are highly lifted up. Ema da da da, si ya baba baba baba. Ema da 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 da, si ya da da ba. We render our heart to you this morning. We render our heart to you this morning. We render our heart to you this morning. Papa, we salute you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Oh, Jesus.
Oneness, oneness. Our first Bible reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4 to 9. Isaiah chapter 50, verse 4 to 9. Adolfonomi and Akinka is my up, Mamma, and Nano Pay. A Behunu Yezaya, it's here, Dionum, Tichemuna, you could see in Kno. Yezaya, it's here, Dionum, Tichemuna, you could see in Kno. How much of me and your cool means here at the Assam. Radinia and Copon Ama me as soon as four such rema. Send me who no said dear, may they assemble what dear, what bray. On your name, dear Anopa, on your name, my son, mammy. Send me in famine, see, sir, as soon as four. A Radinia and Copon a beer, my son. Namen so, man, see, and see, a man, son, name, a cheap. May the name, a cheap, me, ma, a mark of four. Name, my phone, and so, me, ma, a need to two four. May ye may need men free our hora dear nay into soho. Now a radin young couple of Babuami. Ain't seen our hora and fat Miss Sono. Ain't seen a my yet men name said Cherub War. Now me name said men near you. Dear Obume, the Obume beam no bain. Why now on me be dear see? On my ye nina in shame. Why now on me enya? Manu in pink, Manu pink shame me. Shay, a radin young copon or bebwame. Why name, dear Obebu me for? Shay, one ye now be so set at our day, and you never were very one, Adolphonum, a radiacity. Oneness. Our second Bible reading is taken from. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 11. When you can name on Niji and your Wabana, a Philippi Bia Wulu, you train your Kajakuku Niji and you more, Kashiku Kuniji and you make a comie. Philippi Bia Wulu, you train your Kuku and you more, Kashiku Kuniji and you make a comie. Neha Wabwa, you may be more let me. No new Christo, yes, who join le, no no, and your jam. Le money a here, you must summon. She a boo hegbo, ni a can you may let a canoe nisa a ke a hemling pen. Mong a jay a function, a more true loss soon a forno. A chunk bummo, ni a ni fame of be found whom and a lay a keg bummo. A ba a hessian, ni a botway cate belimling, cate some more true no belimling tete. A nehe won whom you may woe in no go joe. Ni a droll like a droll like bear, ni tag bear, fang bear no. Conny may ni yon wing, can may ni yon ship on leno, can may ni yon ship on less she she lay a tame of fame on a cutro aculashi, ye ye su bear lemling. Nilly lay fairly lay ag bamling boake, ye su Christo genuncho, 
kawo chenyungba le hienya na agbe kuku eku nili le fe li le agba mlin po ake yesu kristo jinuncho kawo chenyungba le hienya nyungba wie mole ne oneness shall we please rise for the third bible reading Ya ken kan sama to so mi en sano ye be hunu wo ma kun sempa ti duba ko yi mu edi kan ko si duba ko A reading from the gospel according to Mark chapter 11 verses 1 through 11 Mark 11 1 to 11 Now when they drew near Jerusalem to Bethphage and Bethany at the mount of olives he sent two of his disciples, and he said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and as soon as you have entered it, you will find a cult tied, on which no one has sat. Lose it and bring it. And if anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, The Lord has need of it, and immediately he will send it here. So when they went their way and found the colt tied by the door outside the street, and they loosed it. But some of those who stood there said to them, What are you doing, losing the colt? And they spoke to them as Jesus had commanded, so they let them go. Then they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their clothes on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their clothes on the road, and others cut down leafy branches from the trees and spread them on the road. Then those who went before and those who followed cried out, saying, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus went into Jerusalem, into the temple. So when he looked around at all things as the hour was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. This is the word of the Lord. Having heard our messages, our words in the Bible for today and preparing us for our continuation through the service, let us come before God and affirm what we truly believe as is written in the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty, from where he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we come together and we remember all that God has done for us, it is time for us to bring our tithes and offerings so that the kingdom of God may continue to be shared with the world, that others may continue to know God's love, God's grace, and God's mercy. And we ask the choir and singing band to lead us as we bring our gifts before God this morning.
should go downstairs right now to prepare for the excitement that we are going to share with everybody in a little bit. But all the Sunday school needs to go downstairs now so that they can come and help us worship later on. I will, I will ask that they stay for the blessing of the offerings and after that they may go. Let's pray with them. Right. Right. Because they need the blessing. Let, let them come, please. Let them come back. I know you are eager to okay, come go in. downstairs, but when we pray, we want all our kids to be together with us. Okay, that means that the choir, that the whole congregation is going to be a part of our, our excitement a little bit. We're going to need everybody's help. Okay. So as we move forward, it is time for us to recognize those that God has blessed with another birthday, that God has brought through another year and is blessing with another year to come. We thank God for our sister Monica Ama Diamfua, who is celebrating her birthday. Amen. Come on forward. When you hear your name, please come forward. When you come hear your name, please come forward. With all your supporters, of course. Frederick Smith Jr. is also celebrating his birthday. Please come forward. Lisa Thompson is also celebrating her birthday. Amen. Verona Yoboa. Veronica Yoboa is also celebrating her birthday. Amen. Sister Judith is all. Please, Nisha, are you celebrating a birthday? Come on down. Did we forget? Okay, before we go any farther, all the birthday people should be up front. So make sure if it's your birthday, you're in the front. Anybody else that we have forgotten? We are good? We are good? Hey, the excitement. Oh. Send me a Misha, bill. when is your birthday? When was your birthday? March 20th. March 20th is Misha's birthday. We will remember that. Misha, send me a bill for later, okay? Okay. Oh 
Amen. Everlasting God, our God that was, our God that is, our God that shall forever be. We have heard and we have known that your throne is forever established. You are the one that formed the heavens and the skies as well as the earth. Mighty God, who are we as human beings that you are so mindful of? Who are we? Per your word, Father Lord. The wages of sin is there, Father Lord. We've been through this conviction of sin since we're built. But Lord, you do not hold against us. You do not impute sins against us. And that has qualified us to be alive today. We are grateful to you, Lord, for the life that you have given to us. And as such, because of your everlasting love for us, Father Lord, we are justified, Lord. We are redeemed, Father Lord. We are sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And as such, we have the life of your God in us. So if we are alive, Father, we are not taking that for granted. Because many are those who were with us one year ago. And they are not here with us and they are not anywhere in the world with us. But your mercy continue to be and shine on us. In deeper your word as you say, this shall be the wall of fire around us. And your glory shall be within. Lord, that is what we are enjoying now. So Father, as you have done it once again, for our brethren who have just recently celebrated their birthday, we present them before you one by one in no order of importance. We present our sister Monica Amajemfua. We present our sister Misha Sikapa. We present our sister Veronica Pokua Yebua. We present our brother Frederick Smith Jr. We present our sister Teresa Thompson. We present them before you in the belief that, Lord, it's by your grace that they are alive, Lord, and they have their being, Father, Lord. We are committing the rest of their lives today, Father, that as we celebrate with them, it shall be a turning point around them, that they shall know you better, they shall understand you better, and they shall live in reverences to you all the time, Father, Lord. We pray that, Lord, there shall be a turn around in their progress, in their religious life, in their career life, in their their social life, in their economic life, and they shall remain true representation of yours on this planet, because that is what you created them to be. Let them live according to your plan, in the fulfillment of their destiny, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord. We also want to say thank you, Lord, for the life of our brethren who traveled to Virginia, the state of Virginia, to deliberate on the policies and procedures that will move our church forward. Oh, we believe that many all of them have arrived at their various destinations because you are the Lord that piloted them, that drove them, Lord, that led them through the thickness, even in the valleys of death, Father Lord. You drove them in and brought them back to join us again. Father, we are saying thank you, Lord, for the life of many others, Lord, who are worshiping you somewhere they could not be with us, Lord. We thank you for their life as well. We also want to say thank you, Lord, that in the abundance of resources that many have scooped and are depriving the word of it. Father, we are not deprived of resource of money. So we have been here today to present to you a token of the abundance that you have given to us, Father. We ask the Lord, bless the hand of our way. Bless the labor of our way. Bless our pocket. Oh, bless, Lord. Oh, that we have to give to you, Lord, as well, Father, Lord. And for the intention of those who wanted to give more, but they gave less, Father, Lord. We ask them, bless their intentions as well, Lord, and bless the hands of their labor. And our Lord, let them deliver the fulfillment that they shall forever give to you, Lord, for the rest of their lives. We also want to say thank you, Lord, for the service so far, Lord, for what we have done for us, Lord, in the service. We commit our church, Ghana Calvary, in the name this church, our church, Ghana Gethsemane, in the name this church, I swear to you, Lord, that we shall live to be an embodiment, Lord, of winning disciples for Christ Jesus to expand your kingdom. We pray that for the rest of our lives. We shall forever belong to you. Grant us divine promotion. Grant us divine protection. Grant us divine provision, Lord, that even as the world says it doesn't have. We shall live in the midst of abundance. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Then, uh, birthday people, stay forward. Don't go yet. And we look forward to hearing, to celebrating with Sunday school after the sermon. After the sermon, come and, and celebrate Palm Sunday with us.
She's five already. Amen. So Sunday school may go downstairs, and we will see you after the sermon. As we move forward through our worship service today, celebrating Palm Sunday, we prepare to hear God's message for us by singing together hymn of meditation, MHB 511. Let us stand and sing. MHB 511, be gone, unbelief, my Savior is near. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, the council chair, council members, I, I deem it as honor to be called upon to deliver a message today, which is crucial days. I mean, crucial day in our calendar as 
Christians, um, Palm Sunday, um, I'm not taking it for granted. I really appreciate the leadership for this opportunity. God bless you. Now, my lay leader, new lay leader, <laughs> Papa has joined us. Papa Lee has joined us. So, my lay leader, new lay leader, God bless you so much. Amen. Amen. Shall we pray? You are everlasting. You are the creator of the universe. You are the I am that I am God. Today that you have made, we are in this presence and committing our lives into your care. Spirit of the living God, where two or three are gathered, you have said that your presence is with them. And we therefore believe with your power, with the assurance that your presence is here. I invite your presence, O oh God, to take charge over the gate of this building, connecting the four pillars of this room into your care. We assign your angels to keep charge over these doors, this gate, wherever spirit can enter. Ah, Lord, have your way at this juncture in the name of Jesus Christ. Your people are attentive to this thing from you, not from me. We ask that you communicate well to your people in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit of understanding be poured unto your people this hour. Speak to us, O oh God, we are under your presence listening to you. Speak, O oh God, that servant are listening. Amen. Today is the last Sunday of the Lent. Next week is not Lent Sunday. Next week is Easter Sunday. And I think that uh, it is very important for us to um, rejoice in this day, rejoice um, in this um, tradition because Easter is why you and I are here, because of Easter. And many of us, we pay little attention to Easter as to Christmas. Christmas receives more attention as we give to Easter. But personally, if you tell me the one that we need to recognize much, it should be Easter. Because it's through Easter that is why you and I, we have our salvation. Our salvation was given to us through the life, the death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. So today, as we are participating in preparation of Christ's triumphant entry to Jerusalem to experience the passion, the Holy Week, we all have to bear in mind, open our heart well to receive from God. Amen. Amen. My top this afternoon has to do with Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. So, Hosanna, then you respond what? As I said for now, I'm sorry. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. It's very important. Um, that can be deduced from Mark. Uh, Mark. And, and this is one of these few stories about Jesus Christ that all the four Gospels I mean, wrote or they pen it down which means it is very important. Matthew wrote it, Mark, Luke, and then John. They all penned it down, which means there is much importance to it. There, there, were, there, I mean, there are few things that all the four Gospels wrote in their accounts. Palm Sunday is one of them. You can find it in Matthew, Luke, Mark, and then John. So today, I want to Go a little deeper about Hosanna, starting from where it was originated. The word Hosanna, where was it first used? According to the Hebrew version, the, in Hebrew, the word Hosanna, I mean, comes from two words. That is Hosha or Yasha, I mean, H, sorry, Y-O-S-A-S-H-A, Yasha. Yasha means to deliver, to save. To deliver, to save. So, by the end of this sermon, our knowledge for Hosanna will be deepened. Oh, amen. Will be deepened. Why? 
The word Hosanna, I said, came from Hebrew or originated from Hebrew two words or Hebrew, I mean, combination of two words. Yasha, Yasha means to save or to deliver. That's one. And then the next one has to do with Anna, A-N-N-A, which means I beseech, I beseech or please, 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 I beg, I beg. That is Anna. So when you put the two together, the two Hebrew words together, then we have what we call Hosanna in English. But in Hebrew, they call it um, Yashana. Yashana. So Hosanna, I just want to go a bit deeper. Yashana can term as a word or in a Christian context, which means please save us. Please save us. It is believed that the term Hosanna originated from the Hebrew word that as I've explained. So which means please, Lord, save us. So if I say Hosanna, you can make it a term. You can make it, I mean, a motto, a response, a greeting. When I say Hosanna, you say, Lord, save us. Amen. Amen. Good. The Lord saving you does not mean that um, you will not go through trials. You go through trials. But we have the assurance that when we plead God for help, when we plead God for mercy, God will respond to our plead. Little do the people of, I mean, the Jewish people know the work, the content, the purpose in which Christ was coming to do, or Christ came. So they were celebrating, they were chanting, they were crying, they were singing praises, they were singing a song of gratitude according to um, Psalm 118, verse 25, 26, sir. When you say, what been power? So we move together. Psalm 118, verse 25, 26. That is where we also had the word Hosanna. The meaning of it. Lord, save us. Lord, save us. Lord, save us. Say, blessed is the one who comes, verse 25, say. Save now, I pray. O Lord. O Lord, I pray. Send now prosperity. So the word save now. That we, I mean, I explained from Yosha, means that this, we, it's a plead, it's a cry for God to deliver his people. It's a cry for God's mercy. It's a plead that God will step into, I mean, into the work of deliverance to deliver his people from the oppression that they are going through or they were going through. So blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That is the one that most of us we are well of. That is the one that most of us we are aware of. We have blessed you from the house of the Lord. They were singing this song to praise God, to thank God for what the prophet Zechariah prophesied, according to Zechariah chapter 9, verse 9. Zechariah, 500 years ago, before Jesus' birth, prophesied that a day will come who will have a savior like that. So they rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and, and having salvation, lowly and riding on a donkey, a cot, and the fall of a donkey. Why did Jesus use a donkey and not stall, I mean, stallion horse? There is a meaning. Why did Jesus use a donkey, a cot? And not a stallion or a steel. We know that those that go for wars, those that go for battles, they don't use, I mean, a donkey. Hey, okay, so you're serious. I mean, who is donkey? Not that cock one, you're serious. So they use horses that can run, I mean, meters away with a, just I mean, a single minute and a couple of minutes. So that they can pursue their enemies. So that they will be able to attack their foes. But this is to tell us that Jesus coming is not for war. He came with peace. Jesus came with salvation. He came to comfort those that are broken hearted. So today if you are here and your heart... It's been broken. I am here to encourage you. Jesus is here. 
Jesus is here to save your soul. Jesus is here to bring you the comfort that you need. So by the time you live here, may you receive the happiness from God. The meaning of Hosanna on Palm Sunday is associated with welcoming and praise of Jesus as the Messiah. So the people were chanting using the palm branches, I mean using their garment, I mean wavering the floor for Jesus to lie on it, for Jesus to walk on it, showing the gratitude, showing his, I mean welcoming him for his triumphant entry to Jerusalem to experience the passion, his tribulation. Beloved, Jesus loved you than himself. He loved you than me. I mean, he loved you than his personal body. That is why he offered himself as a ransom sacrifice for you. That you will be saved. You will receive salvation. I'm here to announce you. Say, "Yani ewo he se bibi as se siakim na yaka se ye hiye ni pan nai o mungu ma soriya na eni pa aka ni nanko fria ye beka se ye ni na yengo." Not the church leaders. Because we love ourselves. Me to at the end of the church. Me to fear we United States. Me there we need two years. Would you want me to die? What are you telling me? You are not serious, Pastor. We love our bodies. And he said, Bibi Kanye Nipadria, look at the pains. But look at the hours, number of periods that Jesus Christ was laid on the cross for you. Many of us, I do say that our lifestyle always put Jesus on the cross. Yeah, bra ba yeah, bo every single day. Always laid Christ on the cross. Every single day. But if you come to realization that somebody used his life, he sacrificed his life, all that he had for you to get, just to get you, just to bring you back to Christ and to God Himself. There was that separation. So Jesus had to die for you and I. So when I say Hosanna. We are praying to God for his deliverance. We are praying to God for his mercy. We are praying to God that he save us. He deliver us, delivers us from our tribulations. When I say little do the Jewish people knew the work that Jesus Christ was coming to do. They were under the oppression of the Roman Empire. So they knew that Christ, I mean the Messiah, the son of David, who was prophesied a long time ago, I mean, will come and then lead them to battle or deliver them from the oppression that they were going through. But that wasn't the Jesus' agenda. So it is important for us to appreciate why Jesus came to die for you. If you know that it, you will live your life accordingly, you will make the best of Christ's death in your life. Many of us, we are taking it for granted. And we are not experiencing it. And we are not experiencing it. And we We read a lot of meaning into it. But if you make it personal, you experience the resurrection power of Christ in your life. Jesus, according to Mark chapter 11, verse 1 to 3, he sent his two disciples to go ahead of him to the town called Bethany. And they will find a cord, they will find a donkey tied on a rope. When the people see them, they should, they should tell them that the, I mean, Christ needs it. Christ needs it. Christ needs it. What does that tell you? Your heart is needed by Christ. Your resources, Christ needs it. Your whole being, your time, God needs it. So I told people, I do tell people that it is not only Sundays. The reason why you have received salvation, God has called you to come help propagate the kingdom's work. The kingdom's work is not lied on the hands of the lay leaders alone. 
pastors alone. But anyone who has accepted Christ Jesus as his Lord and personal Savior, it is incumbent on you to carry on the mission of Christ on this earth. Every day I know I'm going to say, but I'm going to say this. Now, what are you addressing? 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 Now, what are you that is very important. You think about that. Physical, material, that is very important. But don't forget the one who is the custodian of your life. Say, to me, I'm fire bread, manua. Yet me, I'm fire one manua. Yet me, I give your time, our heart to God. What benefit are we going to have from all the riches that we are yearning for? Many of us, what we will do to get the money, we don't care. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. My neighbor, I made them about two questions. My uncle, my I mean, my uncle, three shifter, made them when you scab, I have a two offering. And Jenny, you have a lunch, harvest 2024. And I say, I lunch it so it is important for us to, but we have to know how to balance the two. Because we cannot only associate our time only to get our physical materials and neglect the work of God. No. When we do that, we are making Christ's death meaningless. So Jesus, another saint, proclaimed his divinity. He proclaimed his divinity because that was the first time he called himself Lord. Say, when you go to the city, Bethany, and people ask you, who asked you to untie the donkey? Tell the person that it, the Lord needs it. Sister, God needs you. Jesus needs you for his work. You see, we are in partnership with God in curation. As I see, I mean, what you, but he has given the creation, I mean, the creation power, the spirit, I mean, the, the power of creation to humanity. And according to the work that he did for us to fulfill it on this earth. So you are Christ's representative on this planet earth. See, I tell people, what you what you Especially our young ladies, our young men. Bear man or no tiano. Oh, yeah, yes, oh, yeah, be a man. But that person is not ready to take you home. You are wasting your time. Don't waste your time on that boy. Make us a boy because when you're matured, you can date with somebody for five years. Then one found Gohuni, mom, one found Gohuni, papa. You are still with that guy. But if you are ready, you take your girl, I mean your lady, to your parents. To the parents and start. Because all that we are doing, brother, all that we are doing, sister, a time will come, we will account for it. What pastor saw, what the lay leaders did not see, all of them will be laid bare in front of God. So it's a call. It's a call for us to respond that Christ, we are offering ourselves unto you to use us. Lord, use us. Use us to propagate your word. Use us to make the heaven home. I mean, our home. How do you see Christ Jesus today? How do you see Palm Sunday today in this preparation as we are preparing for Passion Week next week, I mean from tomorrow, or from maybe some people take it today? How are you preparing yourself? A question now first says you. A term 2,000 years ago, that's how do we see here? I mean, what what you all can cry and tears you cry, Jano. Is that so? That might be your thought. 
That might be your thinking. But I'm here to announce to you, it is not true. Because the deliverance that Christ delivers his people, it is not only spiritual, but physical as well. That is why we pray and we believe that prayer, when a man to pray, there is a God to answer. So, there I challenge somebody who is praying for something that don't give up, don't look, I mean, the left, don't look the side and side and continue to focus on, I mean, your eyes on God and God will surely step into your problem. The presence of God or presence of Jesus in your life today. How do you see Jesus? See, I, can, I mean, when people are shouting Hosanna, how do you also shout? And what does it mean to you? I had jumped to hallelujah, I just say amen. We don't care to, to find out what it is. We don't care to go deeper. And there is eight implication in our lives. You don't care. And you ask myself, what do you mean? One now go to school. Me me do my mission, mission de pa me ness me me doctor. That is my work. You have to you have to follow your lane. Yeah, very important. That is why you have to. You see, Christianity is not. I mean, a corporate thing. Corporate thing. Yeah, but sorry to build ourselves up. But personal relationship, your increase should be done by you, not your pastor. It should be personal. Your pastor can help you to a certain level, but he cannot do the work for you. Much of the work depends on you, lies on you. The physical deliverance, the spiritual deliverance, all comes from God. This is doctor's from Pobenya insight to heal Isaac. It is through God's knowledge that he has given to them. Many of us, doctors' prescriptions are making for us a mistakes. By the time you realize well, you have already consumed the medicine, what do you mean? I say, Doctor, I'm not going to say, Some people went through and they, they, are, they are dead and gone. But you are here. Do you think it, 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 it's nothing? If you say, It's a sacra, you are not here. You are too beautiful, that's why. <laughs> no. No. I want to tell us that as we are following Christ, there is a mandate, there is a work that we need to do. See, a better dear sister, we need to take up our cross. We need to deny ourselves. And we are here, my brain, I see it in my tessel. We have to give God space in our life. Because it's a call, it's a challenge for you to neglect something, for go certain things. Well, I was telling some, I mean, church, I mean, some people are drew and you see, who say, be challenge Sometimes something has to force you to change your mind. Not to bad, but to good. And you have me, I said to me, force you to resent from our decisions. You are not serving God. We need to be challenged. So I invite you, as we respond to the call of Christ, we need to take up our cross. Be ready to sacrifice our time, our heart for Jesus. And if you're able to do that, that is where we will receive the grace. That is where we will make the salvation impart in our lives. How do you respond to the Hosanna around you? The cries of the world for salvation, peace, and deliverance. But you call yourself a follower of Jesus Christ. You are wasting your time. 
Because it's not coming to my lie, my lay, no. And then you're boy. We have these same people in the church. There was some coffee was on them. And if you think, I mean, can you use this to say Hosanna and that deliverance will come? No. You are here. We, are, we are wasting our time. Abusia, God has called us to be representatives of him on this earth. So, Sir Christ, a whom you are the president for him, say, I did be a mayor, I send be a mechan. I send me busa say, I pay Yosifana. Auntie, when you hold him, the Naya, you'll be our being who. But when you are in your closet, think about this. That Brother George, Nihanum, Brother George, you're who are beckon, ain't you on one here? But God is more talkative than a be a Brother George. Ain't you on one here? Nothing. Or say, hey, father, met me at the moon in tower. Say, me quasa sia sia. Oh, me ra a poisia. Oh, where can I hide myself from you? In two to me, for whom she are right here, you think about, you reflect that whatever that you are doing, Pastor is not watching you. Pastor cannot be at I mean, Edison and at the same time, I mean, Ivanton. But God can be at those two places. And see, who is on your manua? The year you be and we will live our life according to Christ's way of life. So, in summing up, I want to tell all of us that in making Palm Sunday and Passion Week a reality, we need to understand the word Hosanna. It's a word that brings us deliverance. It's a word that brings us salvation. It's a word that brings us, I mean, it takes us from the oppression of sin and death. This morning, this afternoon, I just want to invite you to think about your understanding of the word Hosanna and what Christ came to do in your life. You can embody it in your life. You can live, you can make the most of the Passion Week in your life. And if you do, God's blessings will fall upon your life. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Okay, so we are calling for announcements while we are getting Sunday school ready. I will be back. One is. One is who. So. Sing praise to the Lord, you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. Amen. Amen. Psalm 30, verse 4. On behalf of Reverend Dr. Nathan Adonati, church elders, and the entire congregation, I would like to welcome each and every one to today's divine service. A special welcome goes to those worshiping with us for the first time. If there are such burden here, I humbly request that you stand and then we'll give you a covered welcome. Medina Sofu, Asafu Mpenifu, any Asafu Menina, Anemu, Emu Bibiara, Akwaba, Akwaba Sunku, Ekoma, Wonga, and any da edikai aoni yen esumwa. Yes, we say, Obi Ewa Hasa, Obesori, Niaman, Akwaba. Epacho, Obebo, Udi, Nidi, Ntia, Owo, Aha. Amen. Yo, Mr. Obri Eboa, Medina Sofu, Asafum Penifoni, Asafum Menina, Anemo, Emma Wakaba. Amen. But you put me trust.
Omacho, let's listen to the rest of the announcement. Please take note, there will be three service this week. There will be three service this week. That is Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday. So all those who will be playing key roles, please, Auntie Kate will be sending you all the notifications and then what you are doing. So on Thursday, Thursday 28th, that's the Monday, Thursday, the preacher will be our papa of the house, Reverend Dr. Nathan Adonati. The liturgist will be Sister Kate Owusu, Kate Anda Owusu. The first reading will be done by Brother Ko Adia. The second reading by Sister Audrey Annan. And then the third reading will be done by Brother George Affair. That's on the 28th. Then Friday, Good Friday, our Papa will bring us the word. The liturgist will be Dr. Anthony Mensah. The first reading will be done by Sister Angela Emi Ejei. The second reading will be done by Sister Naomi Adulai. And then the third reading by Sister Judith Amponsa. Then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, our Papa will bring us the word. The liturgist will be Brother George Ofe. The first reading will be done by Dr. George Dickan Eshon. The second reading will be done by Sister Matilda Sikapa. And then the third reading will be done by Brother Bimpong. Amen. So we are still in the Lent season. We continue our fasting and prayers from tomorrow, 5 a.m. to 6, then 12 noon to 12.30, and then we'll come back to wrap it up at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. So take note, this is the last week of the Lent season. So if you are here, and then as of now, you haven't taken part, or you started, and somewhere along the line, you are not able this is the time for you to reconcile with God to continue yesterday in yan mo adofo say eh enna duana a ye dia to ho a ye ni ye papa edi enkomo awo mpai bom afem no akwenchre ni mpai bom no na wochi ni na wochi a etwa to wo se wo ha na so won fa wo ho enhie mu a ni yesre nyina ni se emre aso fa wo ho ehie Say a dark crampo na oh ya, but more than say, would you be shed, sir, and by Bobby? Amen. The son and be can kind, and Yamia Duma, Yawada, ye be a sum, if you had that, ye be a sum, na a cancer questiada, ya ye Easter Sunday, no, and Timoma, Yenshe, Nina, and so. Application for scholarship from the Elizabeth Nunn Field Foundation is available in the office. The deadline is June 15th. Yesterday, a sorry man in Nara said scholarship no continue or maybe applications no. June 15th, and a deadline to submit application. After June 15th, or monthly application be able. And the your man or Muko school, any penny for Muko school in Nara, we have scholarship now, but more than say, we call office or a quality application. No. Because it takes so long, and maybe we will be here for school. Ah, we will come. And this is the time for you to get all those documentation from your school to add it up. And I think we will be here as a from penny for me. No, our only witness is amount. And all this is a process. You cannot take one day to do it. And in moment, shall see an end. Amen. Pastor, and then the lay leader would like to thank all those who were able to make it to. Woodbridge yesterday for the late meeting or conference. A special thanks go to